If you want to run a joinable TF2 server just for you and your friends to test out a map or something without having to download TF2 dedicated server or open any ports or anything, here's how you do it. First, open Steam, go to your library, right click Team Fortress 2, hit Properties. In your launch options here, you're going to want to add a new one here. Enable fake IP. Make sure there is a space after it just so it doesn't conflict with any other launch options. Then launch the game. After the game opens up, it'll look pretty much the same as before. Open the developer console, or you can use the create server dialog, pick a map and hit start. I'm gonna do this because it's faster. Uh, open the console, type map, and then the name of the map, item test, I will use as an example. After the map loads, you'll try to join a team and pick a class, but you'll notice your items probably don't work. That's fine. Either type disconnect in the console or just disconnect from the server. Now you're going to want to do the same thing again. Map and then the name of the map that you wish to play. Or again, use the create server dialog. After the map loads up, you can join a team, pick a class. Everything should work fine. Now open the console again. You might have to scroll up a little bit, but eventually you'll see this message that says fake IP allocation succeeded with an IP address and a port. This IP address and port are what your friends will connect to to join you. So in this example, this is the IP it gave me. So if I wanted to connect to this server, I would give my friends the command connect 169.254.75.203 9504. So they should be able to use this in their game console and join you. Now, sometimes when you try to join a server, you'll get this message, LAN servers are restricted to local clients. In that case, you need to type svlan0. And that's just in the console of whoever is hosting the server. After that's done, the user may need to create the server again. After the server is recreated, you can try connecting to it again. And this time, it should work and let me in. Here we go, joining a team. And there's the other client I've got. Excellent. Perfect. Looks like we are all good. So yeah, if you want to test out a map with friends or practice or something and you don't want to bother with port forwarding or don't want to expose your actual IP address, this is an excellent way to do it. If you need to test server plugins and stuff, you may want to consider downloading TF2 dedicated server. And if you still don't want to expose your IP, you can just use this launch option on TF2 dedicated server as well. That will also work totally fine. And yeah, I guess that's about it. I uh, hope this helped. See ya.